iPad. Uh, this video is going to show you how to change the font of heading 1 and heading 2. And also you can add the shortcut key. For example, you're going to assign uh, many chapters as heading 1 and heading 2. So you can use certain shortcut key just to assign the heading. Okay, um, for example, for all these um, chapters here, um, it's under the normal font. And as you know, um, heading 1 is actually the main chapter and heading 2 is the sub-chapter. So let's say I assign um, first chapter as heading 1, subsequent as... Uh, Heading 2, here I apply as Heading 2, Chapter 2, the main chapter is Heading 1, and the subsequent chapter will be Heading 2. Okay, um, so now I'm going to show you, let's say, how do I change the font of Heading 1. Go to the top and click at Heading 1, right click and click Modify. So if you want, you can increase the font just to differentiate and you can change the color to red if you like. Or then there are more features here like the font, you can change, add them to all capital, things like that. And you, under the format key, you can also add a shortcut key. For example, instead of um, moving a cursor or you like to assign shortcut key you can put in a shortcut key as control sorry control and one press control one Okay, for example, you can assign Control one as a new shortcut key and click Assign. And close. Then it's, it's, it's working now. So, for example, you are here. You assign back into normal the, uh, chapter. Then if you want to assign it as heading 1, you can either click here or you just click a shortcut key as Control one And this chapter will be under heading 1. So you can see the difference in the font than the font size. And then another, you can try for heading 2, go to heading 2 at the top, right click, modify, and you can make it smaller for example. And you can assign a blue. Then you can see. Then if you want it to be um, bold or anything, just click bold here. And all the heading tool will come as blue and bold. So what you do, then you can create your table of content. Go to the top references. Click table of content. And you can select automatic table tool. So now the system actually helps you to create the table of content on its own. And then um, like here, you, as I mentioned before, let's say you can assign this as heading 2 if you want. You go to this chapter as heading 2. You go to home, then you click at the beginning of the chapter and then you just click on the top heading 2. And it will automatically appear, once you click the update table, right, it will appear in the table of contents. Okay, um, as to how to change the font in the table of contents, uh, I can show you in the next video. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.